So, I'm a little bit tired right now, and I'm still a little bit drunk from earlier, so I figured I'd try and rant about something. And, uh, I figured it'd be something fun, so I'll rant about Final Fantasy. Why not? Uh, for starters, Final Fantasy VII is pretty much the catalyst that got me into video games. I mean... Before that, I was playing a few PC games, uh, King's Quest IV, some Dungeons & Dragons PC games that were 80s games, that sort of thing, and Wolfenstein 3D. And then I got the Genesis and the Sega Channel, which that's a whole nother rant right there. And then I got the PlayStation 1, and the first game I got for that was Tomb Raider, and I had a few other games, Crash Bandicoot 2, and some other crap. However, I had seen commercials for Final Fantasy VII, and I, I just got so excited about them, and eventually I started renting the game at a little place called Pick a Flick. It's not around anymore. It was a local store. I would, like, go there. I would buy groceries that we would need. My mom would give me money for it. I'd walk to the grocery store, buy the groceries, and then right next to there was Pick a Flick, and I'd get Final Fantasy VII for it. Did that, like, three times, I think, and eventually my parents were like, look, you know what? You're buying this game, like, every time you go to there, so we're just going to buy it for you. And they went to a pawn shop, and they spent uh, about $50. I think I still have the little tag on there, and I got the game. It didn't come with the booklet. Later in my life, I had seen the booklet, and I was like, what the fuck is that? And it was the booklet, so that was a little weird. So that's my uh, intro into the Final Fantasy world. That got me started. And Final Fantasy VII, um, that was a really epic game. Uh, a few people, I know a few people who are like, Oh, well, the graphics weren't good, and, uh, they wanted it to be a Nintendo 64, but they decided to put it on the PlayStation, and so the graphics look crappy. You know, a year later, Final Fantasy VIII came out, and the graphics were far more advanced. Graphics actually don't make a game. Even to these days, I still play, like, Rogue for the DOS, and it's like the shittiest graphics in the world. It is literally the worst graphics you could come across because it's old ASCII graphics. But it's still an involving game. It's still a fun game. So graphics don't make the game for me. Unless, of course, the graphics hinder gameplay, then of course the graphics have a factor in the gameplay. But ultimately, gameplay makes the game. You could have the prettiest graphics in the world, like the most jaw-droppingly stunning graphics, big light show of amazing effects, but if you have this game mechanic of, you know, I don't know, uh, just a series of quick time events, then you've got a shitty game. <laughs> I mean, if you've just got a game that doesn't actually play, it's just really, really, really pretty to look at, I, there couldn't even be a story, you know? Basically, if Michael Bay made a video game, it'd be the, it would be the prettiest video game in the world. The most spectacular over-the-top, big explosions, uh, transformers with testicles, but you'd get a game that's a steaming heap because there's no gameplay. So graphics don't mean the game. That being said, every single Final Fantasy that came out has surpassed its previous game in terms of jaw-droppingly amazing-looking graphics. And Final Fantasy VII is no different. I mean, granted, it was supposed to, you know, it was kind of shoved out the door. They were on a weird timeline and everything, and the game still looks good. I still play it, and I still understand who's who and what's what. So graphics really don't factor in for me, and they never have. So anyway, I'll figure out talk about the chronological order of the Final Fantasy games. For starters, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 I'm not actually very familiar with. I've played a little tiny bit of a Final Fantasy 1 emulator, and I like to pick up the uh, collection of Final Fantasy 1 and 2, which they have it for PlayStation 1 and Game Boy Advance. I would love to pick those up. I don't have a Game Boy Advance right now, but I've been looking into buying a Game Boy Advance again because I have a DSi, and it doesn't have the port anymore, which was kind of a buzzkill. So I have never played those enough to actually form an opinion of them. I've heard things. However, 3, I have the DS remake of 3, and I love 3, mainly because it is a job class system, and uh, if you want to catch my attention in terms of video games, just say in-depth job class system, and I'll go, ah, really? Final Fantasy 4, played a little bit, but there's just something about it where every time I played it, I just kind of eased myself away from it. And everybody says it's a wonderful game, a wonderful story, and there's a big political thing in the story. There are empires at war through the whole thing, and uh, the main character has to come to terms with, you know, becoming good over evil, becoming a paladin instead of a dark knight. And I just couldn't get into it. But I want to get back into it. I want to give it another shot. Because here lately I've been getting into the grinding sessions, you know, really trying to get the grinding in there in terms of RPGs. I want to give that one another chance. Final Fantasy V, that is a really good one. 
mainly because A, job class system, oh my god, I love those, and B, it's just a fun story. I mean, just everything, everywhere you go is entertaining, and everything you do is entertaining in 5. 6 came out, 6 gets way too much acclaim, but that's not to say that it's not a really, really, really good game. And then uh, I've already talked to you about Final Fantasy VII. It's the catalyst, and uh, it's one of my top five favorite games of all time. Final Fantasy VIII, I didn't give that one a chance either. That and Final Fantasy IV, I need to go back and give those a chance, because Final Fantasy VIII really was a good game. I still don't like the they had in that, because I'm a sucker for the old magic system. They tried something new with it, and I'm not going to cast a stone at them for trying something new, but at the same time, it doesn't mean I have to enjoy it if it's a stupid system. Final Fantasy IX is one of my other favorite Final Fantasy games. It's very, it's very fun world, and just everything about it is enjoyable. Final Fantasy X, it's actually, it's another one that I've gone back to, and I, it's very, very, very fun to play, just because the system, I mean, the Sphere Grid system is a super fun system. I'm very happy with it, and everything I do in that game is enjoyable. There are some things I wish they didn't do, like, they kind of took away the world map system, which that was kind of a bummer, but, I mean, it, it's a new system, and it works. It's not as exciting, the world itself is not as exciting as, you know, the earlier Final Fantasies, but it's still an entertaining game. I've never played Final Fantasy XI, never, ever, ever, so I can't base a judgment on it, and I kind of don't want to, because I'm not an MMO kind of guy. I'll play, I'll play an MMO for a little while, I've played WoW for a little while, and I just give up on it, because I, I just don't have that patience. I'm a gamer ADD. Final Fantasy XII, I wasn't really a fan of. And, uh, again, it's another one of those things where I'm kind of in this really big Final Fantasy phase right now, and so I want to give Final Fantasy XII another shot, and see if I can do something with it, do something fun with it, because, I mean, the uh, the license system wasn't a good system. You know, it, they tried to do something similar to the Sphere Grid, but it wasn't well done. But that being said, it, I mean, it's still an involving story, and I kind of want to get back into it. And the new one, Final Fantasy Thirteen, I've never ever played, and I want to play it so bad. It looks it looks like a very far cry from the classic Final Fantasy series, but that's not necessarily a terrible thing. It's terrible that it's such a far cry, because I love the old system, And but, you know, I, I still want to try it out, because it's a Final Fantasy game, and all Final Fantasy games deserve a chance with the Final Fantasy fan. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Whatever. But I want to try Final Fantasy XIII, and I've been ranting for a long time here, so I'm going to cut it off right now. So let me know what you think about Final Fantasy games, and thank you for letting me rant.